Hello and welcome to my fantasy football team for the Euros. Now, it's different to when you play uh, for the FPL. You can transfer players out in the game week, but you can transfer a player in once he has played. So if you look at my bench, I've got Krull, Jota, Cancelo and Ferran Torres. Okay, now they all play... Uh, they all play after everyone who's already in my team. So, Herodeke, he plays uh, before Cruel. So, if he gets a clean sheet, he can stay in. Bednarak, he plays before Jota. Uh, Dan James, he plays before Jota. Cancelo, he plays after everyone there. And Torres, he plays after, you know, pretty much everyone apart from the Portuguese. So, I can transfer them in. If that the players here do rubbish. After looking at Portugal, the group of death. So, Portugal, France, Germany. Oh my. So the first game week, Portugal play Hungary. Now they're going to be after blood. Because they have to win that game. There's no two questions about it. Whereas, whoever wins out of France or Germany, the pressure will be off a little bit against them. So maybe Hungary will do okay. Probably not. Portugal play Hungary. And then match day two. Portugal, let's find them, play Germany. And France play Hungary. So, one tactic might be to take out Jota and Cancelo. Then, we can put in two French players. Or, we can use our free hit. So, if our free hit in game week two, then it goes back my original team game week three so that's the plan up to now what do you think i'm obviously going to change my captain and again you can you captain the player on the day who's playing who is your favorite and if he does no good you can change him the day after so this is it for now tell me what you think and what you would do i would like like i say i would like to get a french person in anyway uh, just because i can Put them in if someone else does bad. So I've not got a lot of money. Who would you take out to put in for a French person? I've got no money apart from what I've got here. Tell me what you think.